So today's lesson is graphing systems of linear inequalities. So graphing systems of linear inequalities is super close to graphing systems of linear functions, okay? So you're just adding two steps. So welcome to today's lesson. Okay, graphing systems of linear inequalities. Oh, sorry. Oop. All right, so how to graph a system of linear inequality. So one, isolate y. Two, plot the y-intercept. Three, use the rise over run. Four, choose a solid or a dotted line. You know it's dotted if it's greater than or less than. You know it's solid if it's less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. Then you're gonna shade under or over. Pretend like the line is a table. Are you gonna be over the line? Or are you gonna be under the line? <clears throat> under is less than symbols. Less than, less than or equal to. Over is greater than or greater than or equal to. And then repeat. So you're gonna have two lines. So you do the one first, do all of its little shenanigans, and then you do the second one, do all of its little shenanigans, boom. Example number one. So if you watched my graphing systems of linear equations one, we're using the same examples except the symbols are changed to be inequality symbols. So this should look a little bit familiar. All right, so I have two x plus y is greater than negative four. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna isolate y. So I'm gonna subtract two x from both sides, boom, boom. Okay, and I'm gonna get y is greater than negative two x minus four. My y-intercept is gonna be negative four, so that's the first thing I'm gonna put on the graph. Voila, I have a negative four y-intercept on the graph. Then the second thing that you wanna do is you wanna use your rise over run. So your rise over run is your slope, obviously the number in front of the x, so it's negative two. To make it a fraction, I'm gonna make it negative two over one. So I'm gonna go down two spaces, boom, I'm gonna run over one space. Okay, notice my symbol. My symbol is a greater than symbol. So it tells me two things. It tells me that it's a dotted line and it tells me that I shade over the line. So dotted line, boom. I'm gonna go ahead and shade over the line. Voila, ooh, fancy, okay? So then I'm gonna move on. So remember the last step is to repeat. So I'm gonna say x plus four y is less than or equal to 12. So I gotta get y by itself. So the first thing is I'm gonna move x to the other side, minus x minus x. I'm gonna get four y is less than or equal to negative x plus 12, or yeah, plus 12. <clears throat> so I gotta divide by four because I gotta get y by itself still, right? So I have an extra step in this problem. So I'm gonna divide by four, divide by four, divide by four. So y is gonna be less than or equal to negative one fourth x plus three. So that's my y intercept. So I'm gonna go ahead and plot a three on the graph. There, there my three goes, hey three. And then I'm gonna look at my slope, which is negative one fourth. Boom, bada bing, bada boom. I'm gonna go down one space, and I'm gonna run over four spaces. Boom. I'm gonna look at my symbol. It's a less than or equal to, so that tells me two things. Less than tells me that I, it's gonna be shaded under, and the equal to tells me that it's gonna be a solid line. So drawing a solid line, I'm gonna shade under, okay? So now here's what you need to take note of. I have two colors on the screen. So where the purple and the pink cross, that is actually my solution set. Okay, so what does that mean? That means this little black area right here is where I'm actually gonna find my solutions. So I'm not worried about the, the purple on top or the pink off to the side. I'm just worried about that black area where the purple and the pink actually connected. Any point in that region is a solution to my problem. Any point in that, in that set is a solution to my problem, okay? So I'm gonna get rid of the extra and boom, that's my answer. Okay, example two. I'm gonna take the purple equation first and I'm gonna isolate y, right? So minus x minus x. I'm gonna get two y is greater than negative x plus eight. So I'm gonna divide everything by two. Cause again, I gotta get y by itself, right? So y is greater than negative one half x plus four. First, I wanna plot my y-intercept, plus four, up there. Hey, and then I'm gonna do my slope, which is my rise over run. So I'm going to move down one space, move over two spaces, and I'm gonna look at my symbol. My symbol is a greater than, so it's gonna tell me that it's gonna be a dotted line because there's no equal to, and I'm gonna shade over, and I know I'm gonna shade over because it's greater than, things that are greater than go on top. Dotted line, okay, good. And I'm gonna shade over the line, voila, okay? So then, I'm gonna go ahead and do the second equation, the pink equation. So I'm gonna subtract x from both sides, yes. And then I'm gonna divide by negative two, now there's a special rule when you're doing inequalities. When you divide by a negative, what should you do? I'll wait. Good, 
good. You need to flip your symbol. So notice my symbol is not my, my orange symbol. I flipped it. It was a less than. Now I made it a greater than because I divided by a negative. So look at your first example, the purple example. I divided by a positive two. That blue two is positive. So the symbol stayed the same. But in the in the second, in the pink example, um, I divided by a negative two. So that blue two is now negative. And because that blue two is negative, then I'm going to go ahead and flip my symbol. Okay. So let's move on to graphing. I'm going to circle my two, which is my y-intercept, and it's going to pop up on the graph. Hey. And then my slope is positive one half. So I'm going to rise up one, and I'm going to run over two right there. So I'm looking at my symbol. It's a greater than. So it does not have an equal to. So that means it's going to be a dotted line, and it's greater than. So I'm going to shade over. So here we go shade over now remember when you're doing inequalities your solution set is what it's where the two colors meet okay so where the purple and the pink cross that's where my solutions are so I'm gonna go ahead and show you that's the black part right the black part is where my solutions are so I'm gonna get rid of the extra pink I'm gonna get rid of the extra purple so that we know hey this is where my solution set is I could pick any point in that solution set and it would be a solution to the problem um, okay, so example number three out of six. So I have x is less or x blah, blah, x minus y is less than or equal to negative four. So I'm gonna say minus x minus x, and I have negative y is less than or equal to negative x minus four. So I have to divide by negative one because again, y is not by itself. There's still a negative in front of it. So I'm gonna divide everything by negative one. And remember, when you divide by a negative, what happens to your symbol? Your symbol flips. So that's why I changed it to be orange. So let's locate our y-intercept and uh, get this party started. All right, so I'm going to look at my slope, which is 1. So 1 over 1, up 1, over 1. I'm going to look at my symbol to determine what kind of line, solid or dotted, and where do I shade, under or over. So it's a solid line because it has an equal to, and I shade over because it's a greater than. Okay? Doop. So then I have x is greater than 2. It's vux vertical undefined slope x equals a number this is a weird line right it's a special case line anytime i have a special case line it's just x and a number i know it's a vertical line i know it's an undefined slope and i know that it's x equals a number that's how i recognize it when i just see x and a number i know these is a vux line so i'm gonna go over to the two on the x-axis right there and i'm just gonna go ahead and make another point anywhere it doesn't matter where as long as it's vertical so up and down not left and right and I'm gonna look at my symbol. My symbol says it needs to be a solid line. So I'm gonna make sure it's a solid line. And then there's no under or over, but I need to think about greater than. Where are numbers that are greater than two? Well, that would be three, four, five, six. So here we go. So remember, your solution set is where the two colors cross. It's not a big area on this graph, but if the graph was like yay tall, it would be much bigger. Anyway, so those two colors are right here where I'm shading in the black, and that, those are gonna be where your solution is. So I'm gonna get rid of the extra colors, boop. Get out of here. Just that black area. Points in that black area are where my solutions will be. All right, example four out of six. We're halfway done already. So I have y is less than negative two x minus four. Y is already isolated. I love it when the equations already have Y isolated. So I'm just going to go ahead and go straight to graphing. I'm going to find my Y intercept, which is negative four. And um, my slope is negative two. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. So I'm going to go down two, and I'm going to go over one, and I'm going to look at my symbol. What is kind of line is it? Solid or dotted? It's a dotted line. Shade under or over? You're going to shade under because it's a less than. So boop, looking good. All right, so then the next thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is do the other line. And what do you know? This line is also isolated, so I only have to go straight to graphing. So boop, hey, I'm going to go to the two, hey, I'm going to go to the uh Look at my slope, which is four over one. So I'm gonna rise up four, run over one, and look what kind of line it's gonna be. Is it gonna be solid or dotted? If there's an equal to, it's a solid line. And then if it's a less than, I'm gonna go ahead and shade under. Yay! Okay, so where are the true solutions to this problem? Where the two colors cross that little area right there. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of the rest of the stuff. Okay. <laughs> 
Um, example five out of six. We only have two examples left. So y is less than negative 2x minus 1. y is already isolated. Oh my goodness. I love that. So negative 1 is going to be my y-intercept. Yes. And then negative 2. Um, I'm going to go down to over 1. Uh, looking at my equation, what is that dotted? Hey, shade under. Look at us. And then I'm going to look at my other equation. Got to isolate y, baby. Okay, so isolating y, negative 3y is less than 6x plus 3. Oh, we're dividing by negative. What's about to happen? Oh my goodness. What do you notice about those two equations? Once y is isolated, the purple equation and the pink equation are what? They're the same. That's weird, right? So when I graph them, guess what? The only thing that's different is one has a less than and what one has a greater than. What does that mean for us? Oh my goodness. Well, I shaded under one. I shaded over the other. But both of those are dotted lines, which means there's actually going to be no solution to this problem because when the line is dotted, I can't use the line as a solution. Okay? And I can only use areas where both colors touch and both colors don't touch. So there's no solution to this problem. Ooh, crazy. Okay. <laughs> um, and then last example. So last example is x minus 2y is greater than negative 8. So minus x minus x. Negative 2y is greater than negative x minus 8. I'm going to divide by 2. But divide by negative 2. What does that mean? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, I'm going to get y is less than. 1 half x plus 4, less than y intercept 4, my slope 1 over 2, rise up 1, run over 2. What kind of line are we dealing with? It's a less than, so it's dotted and I shade under. And then, what else do I do? I'm going to look at my second equation. I'm going to isolate the y. And then I'm going to divide by negative 2. What happens when you divide by negative? Okay, so look, our, our slopes are the same. So that means these lines are going to be parallel. Um, but let's see what happens. So I'm going to plot negative 3. I'm going to use my slope. So I'm going to rise up 1. I'm going to run over 2. What kind of line is it going to be? It's going to be a dotted line, and I'm going to shade over. Dotted line, shade over over so remember it's the area where the two colors cross where are your solutions so whoop, right up the middle baby are my solutions so i'm gonna get rid of all the extra and that's the lesson in the nutshell what am i gonna tell you to do i am gonna tell you to take out a separate sheet of paper and what are you gonna do with that separate sheet of paper you are going to try these examples on your own see if you can get them without my help okay pause the video when you need to um and make sure you learn something